Welcome to this new session from Knowledge Base. Today I'm talking about network topologies. Network topologies are the way elements of a network are arranged. Elements, I mean links, nodes, and components of a network. Now, when we talk about network topologies, we have to look at it from two different angles. One is the physical topology and one is the logical topology because although these are similar in most of the times, in some cases, uh, the physical connectivity of the cables could be um, some topology and the logical way that the signal is being sent could be a different topology. Now, for the sake of uh, clarity, in this session today, I'm assuming that both logical and physical topologies are the same. So first, let's look at the basic topologies that are available. We have the star, ring, and bus topologies. These topologies are different in many ways. Let's take the star. In a star topology, we have a central node that is connected to each terminal node with a dedicated link. In a ring, we have a link going through the nodes. So every signal needs to pass through every node before it goes to the other. Now in rings, it could be a uh, unidirectional or it could be bidirectional. And when discussing, I'm talking about bidirectional to see the advantages of a ring. So it can, the communication can go both ways of a ring. And we have a bus where we have main channel and the terminal nodes and the nodes are connected to this channel. Now, if we look at the uh, pros and cons of these uh, different networks, we can see that in a star, the advantages or pros are we have a dedicated bandwidth for each terminal. And this is reliable because in case we have one uh, link failing, it will only affect a single node. However, from the other side, if you look that we have a central node, if the central node fails, then the whole network is down. Now, here, one of the cons is redundancy, and we don't have redundancy. Now, we can achieve redundancy if we double the uh, topology, so we have another star. But this is, again, an additional cost. So it's non-redundant and it's expensive and if you want to add it uh, to make it redundant it will be even more expensive. Looking at the ring topology, in a ring topology it's by default redundant if it's bidirectional. So in case of any uh, node fails or any link fails still the connection can go through the other way of the network. Uh, it's less expensive also because it takes less ports on the network and it needs less cables. Uh, on the disadvantages, it's a shared bandwidth and uh, it's higher in latency. So if you have, let's say, one gigabit over this channel, it's shared by all the terminal nodes. And um, if you're sending a signal to a further node in the channel, it has to go through the different nodes to reach there. In a bus topology, we have all the disadvantages of a ring, uh, plus it is non-redundant, and we have also more collision between the data inside the channel, so it's, it's a lower bandwidth. However, it has an advantage of being easy to set and less expensive, and this makes it useful in applications where we don't need high bandwidth and we don't need continuous transmission of signals, like if we are connecting sensors uh, in different parts of the building that will send a signal every period of time, this could be an ideal solution. Now, these are not the only topologies, these are only the basic topologies, however, there is other network topologies that we see like the mesh topology and the tree topology, or also there is hybrid topologies where it's a mix of both. Now, in a mesh, every terminal node is like a central node in a star. So every terminal node is connected to all the existing nodes. And this, some, we see this a lot between uh, telecom or service providers where they want their central offices to be interconnected in a mesh network. So they have higher redundancy and higher bandwidth and higher availability. Um, a tree is somehow as a hierar hierarchical uh, star. So every node is a star to the layer below it. And this is also very common in structured cabling systems. 
uh, that's it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below